So the first thing you need to do is you need to make a Google form. So you're going to get the whole thing in the screencast. Okay. So you're going to go to your Google Docs. Okay. You're going to create a new a new form. Okay. And everything you self create has to be within the context of a form. Okay. So I go form, and this is going to be a self creating test. Okay. So I'm going to get the kid's name here. Okay. And what I'm also going to do here, just so you know, is I'm going to get the kid's email. Okay. Because you can, if you get their email, you can e the results can be emailed to them right away. But I'm just, you don't, you don't need that feature, but it, it can be a good feature. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new question and they need to be multiple choice questions. So question one, and I'm going to say A, B, C, D. Done. Now, if you want to duplicate a question, I just hit that guy and I'll duplicate. I'm, I'm recording this right now so you can watch it. Okay. Um, so I go duplicate. Okay. So now I have my my form and there is here is the live form I just made. Okay. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I'm gonna answer it. Okay. I'm gonna answer it. I'm gonna I'm gonna write key. Okay. Or my name. I'm gonna give myself my email. Okay. And then I'm going to say the right answer is A and A. That's going to be the key. I hit submit. Okay. Now I want to submit another response um, from Joe, Joe at gmail.com, who's going to who's going to miss the question. Just so you see that there's going to be B and A. I'm just filling this right now so I can grade it. Steve, Steve at gmail.com. Um, C and C. Submit. I'm going to do one more. Um, Jeff. Jeff, whatever. And Jeff is going to get them both right. A and A. Okay. So all of these things went into a uh, the spreadsheet, which I just made called self-grading test. So there's all the responses. Okay, right? So in any grade, any, any spreadsheet you want to self-grade, you need to insert the ability to self-grade it. Okay, so Microsoft Excel and all Excel has uh, can do equations, can do math, right? And the cool thing about Google Docs is other people have already built those equations, and they're called scripts, and you can go and just put them in there, and you don't have to make them yourself. So you go to insert script, and it gives you this gallery of all this stuff that you can make it do, and um, the script that self grades for some reason it's got a weird name. It's called Fluberoo. <laughs> there it is. Fluberoo is a free and easy tool that allows teachers to quickly grade and analyze assignments. So I say install. And this is the spreadsheet that's collecting that's collecting it, right? So now it's it's installing it. I'm just kind of hanging out. Waiting right now while it does that. It did it. So then I say authorize. Okay. And then I say close. And I say close. Okay. So now if you notice on my spreadsheet, there's this thing there that says flu group. Okay. That wasn't there before. Only on that spreadsheet. Okay. Now if you are collecting all your answers into the same spreadsheet, it can get a little funky. You have to go through and change the grading rules every time. I would actually, honestly, at the end of the day, make a different spreadsheet for every video. I yeah. just, at the end of the day, it's easier. So I'm going to say Fluberu. So you have to do that for every spreadsheet. spreadsheet. It doesn't put it in as the for all no, spreadsheets. No, no. It, it's specific. Because, because I have some spreadsheets to do my bank account for me. And I have other spreadsheets to do other things. You know. So then I go grade assignment. It's running the script. And it's saying Fluberu is preparing to grade. And it says step one. So I say the name, all that does is identify the student. Okay? Identifying the student, th all this, did is, this does is identify the student. Now this first question um, is going to be one point, and the second question is going to be one point. I picked up on that those are questions. I can weight the questions different points if they're different rigor. Okay? So I can say the second one is worth two points. So then I continue. Okay, now it's going to ask me which student do I want to be the key. So I, if I knew there was a kid that was really smart, 
But I called myself the key. I, I, I filled it out and called myself the key, so I just do that. Okay. So it's grading the assignment. Assignment's graded. Okay. It, what it does, does is, okay, so it made a, and it also does an item analysis of each one, too, which is really <laughs> awesome. Um, it made a separate sub-sheet uh -huh. that keeps the grades. So um, if you notice at the top, it gives the points possible. The average point, average score is a 1. Um, it's completed. I'm just going to click this. We're going to look here. So here's the, here's the normal submissions were here. Here are the grades, nice and organized. Um, Joe, Joe's score is, Joe got a 50%, Steve got a 0%, Jeff got a 100%, okay? On the item number one, 33.3% of the people got item number one right. And 66.6% .6 of the people got item number two right. That's the item analysis. So that is how you do rigor analysis. So if I write a question that's high rigor and 95% of the people got it right, that question behaved like a low rigor problem, which means I probably told them how to solve it. Okay, I probably gave them too much info. Okay, Verse, You can take a high rigor question, you can make it really easy by telling them how to do it. Okay, rather than providing opportunities for them to see like analogous situations. Versus if there's a really low rigor question, a lot of people got it wrong, I, in my head, thought everyone knew it, but they really didn't, right? So the item analysis, so you really want medium rigor behaving around 80, 70, 80%, high rigor around the 60 to 70%. I mean, it's kind of messed up that we look at rigor based on how many people get it wrong or right, mm -hmm. but it's sort of, is kind of a good, it's like why, you know, like I have a problem with like inflated grades because I have a tendency to like totally teach everybody explicitly how to do everything. You know, it's just, that's my problem, which is why my AP scores struggle. Like, I need to get better at items behaving the way they behave. But either way, I have all that, right? So then all I have to do is go up here into Fluberu, and I can say email grades. Okay? And then it's going to ask me to choose. It's going to say um, email address question, and it picked up on it was the email. So which question? Ask them for the email. Include list of questions and scores. Include answer key. Include a message so I can choose that. I can hit continue and then it'll email out scores. So one one thing you can do is let's think about this not in terms of the video reflection. Let's think about it in terms of um, Scantron. You make a you make a Google form. All the Google form is is the twenty multiple choice questions you're going to give to kids on a test. But it's not the questions, it's just blank. Question one, A, B, C, D. Question two, A, B, C, D. Question three, A, B, C, D, right? And then they take their normal paper test, and when they're done, they just go and buzz in their answers on a Google form. You might have on a computer station in the back of the classroom on a couple computers or on their phone or whatever. And then, because they buzzed it in, they can do item analysis. You can do that whole thing on it. And then you can use the same one. Like, let me even show you. This is what I do in my class. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so like, Miscellaneous forms, multiple choice. Okay, so this is this is the form that they buzz in all their multiple choice tests into. Okay, submit. So they submit that. It goes into Google Form. I run analysis on it. I get their grades back. All right. So let's see. Did it email? I had it sent to me. Let's see if it emailed me. So on those, you have to do if if you have like a general um, form and maybe has ten questions, and but. Oh no! Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. So this is the grades for your sub grade test. We just emailed it to students. Um, so let's see if it emailed. I said I said for it to email it to me. Um, so it sends you a, it sends you an email, but I was one of the students that it was going to email. So I don't know how that worked. Uh, I'm not sure, but it took me back to here. So that's how you do it, though. So. Let me stop.